for our first recipe from Bolivia, we are making Silpancho, a delicious hearty plate of rice, beef, salsa, potatoes, eggs, anything you can imagine on one platter and it is delicious. This recipe has a couple different steps. So the first thing that we're gonna start out with is making the salsa. So I have three chopped Roma tomatoes and one half of a red onion chopped really finely. And then I have one quarter cup of chopped parsley. So I'm gonna mix this all together along with two tablespoons of vinegar and two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna mix this all up and then we're gonna season it to taste. So. This is gonna go on the very top of the sil poncho. All right, it's all mixed up. Put some salt and pepper in here to give it some flavor, and then we're gonna let it sit while we cook the rest of the uh, recipe because we're gonna let it really marinate in that vinegar and olive oil. Get all of the flavors really developed before we put it on the final dish. All right, so this seems to be good, and we're gonna put this off to the side for now and now we're gonna season the meat. The main element of the sopancho is the beef patty. So I have one pound of 85%, I think, lean ground beef. So I'm gonna put that in here and we're gonna season it with some adobo seasonings. I have two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, a half teaspoon of paprika, and a third teaspoon of black pepper. And now we get to get a little messy and mix it up with our hands and mix all of the seasonings in. So you're gonna just wanna squish it all in, make sure all the seasonings get spread around. I used to do this for my mom all the time when I was little when we would make meatloaf at home. She would give me the meat and I would get to mix it with my hands and I thought that that was the best part of cooking dinner. And now that we have um, all of this mixed in, we're gonna form it into four patties, about a quarter of a pound each. So I'm gonna do that now. Break off just about a quarter of the meat and pack it down into a patty. And what we're gonna do in a second is we're gonna bread them and then we're gonna fry it. And that's how we're gonna put the meat on the sopancho dish. In Bolivia, a staple ingredient is quinoa. They use quinoa in so many recipes as such a, a base for so many dinner and lunch recipes. And so if you head on over to www.foreignfork.com, I will be having a Bolivian quinoa recipe as well. So I have peeled and boiled a potato and cut it into some slices here. And what we're gonna do now is fry up these beef patties and the potatoes, and that's gonna be some topping for our sil poncho as well. So I have my beef patties here, and I have two eggs whisked up in this bowl. I'm gonna dip the beef patties into the egg to give them a good coating. And then I have about one cup of breadcrumbs in here as well. And so I'm gonna dip them into the breadcrumbs and coat it up here. I'm gonna do all four so that they're ready to go, and then we're gonna put them in the oil. So I have the oil frying on the, um, heating up on, in a frying pan on the stove here. Um, and again, I'm not sure if you remember from some of my other recipes, uh, particularly the Belgian fry recipe, but the way that I always test to make sure that my oil is ready is I take a wooden chopstick and I put it into the oil as it's heating up. If little bubbles form around the chopstick, that's how I know that the oil is heated up enough to fry. My oil should be about there. I'm just gonna take this and put it in the oil and we're gonna let it fry for about four minutes on the first side and then maybe two minutes on the second side. They seem to be done on the first side so I'm flipping them over now so that they can cook on the second side. And you can always fry these to your liking so uh, much to my dad's dismay, I like my burgers a little bit more well done, but you can make them medium rare if you'd like instead. And I'm just gonna let them keep cooking in here. Now that our burgers are cooked, we're gonna take that uh, potato that I 
peeled and boiled and cut into slices and we're going to fry that up in the same hot oil as well. So I'm just going to lay some potato slices in here. I also have four eggs. So I know that this is a whole lot of toppings to go on one plate, but the very last thing that we're going to do is cook up about four eggs over easy or over medium, depending on your preference. Probably going to cook them over medium. So I have a pan sprayed here with some nonstick spray and I'm going to crack my four eggs into the pan and I'm going to season these with some salt and some pepper. And once the, the outer white has kind of cooked a little bit, but you still have um, some really runny whites in the inner part of the egg, I just use my spatula to, to make a break in the whites. And it kind of lets those whites run out, thin out a little bit, and not be so goopy. And we're just going to let all this cook up on the stove. The name of Bolivia comes from Simon Bolivar, who is a South American revolutionary leader. And now it is time for the assembly. So I made some minute white rice, and so that's going to be the base of this dish. So I'm just going to pour some of this onto our serving platter. And then we're going to top it with everything else that we made. So next is going to be our beef patty. So I'm going to scoop one of these, put it on top of the rice. Put some of these fried potatoes on here as well. So I'll put maybe two or three on here. These are nice and crispy. I'm really excited to eat these. One of our eggs. And you can make this platter one for the table, one big one for the table, or you can make one per each individual person. Right now I'm making a big one and everybody at the table can share it. So I'm going to put that egg on there as well as some of this salsa that's been, we made at the very beginning, that's been marinating. So it should have a lot of really good flavors in there now. I'm going to put a little bit on each side. And then I'm going to figure out how to have a bite of this with one of everything on my fork. Do some nice little plate decorations over here. Put a little bit of salsa on each side for some pops of color. Okay. And now I'm going to try it, which is always the best part. My dad said that this was uh, one of his favorite recipes that I've made. So I hope that when you guys try it at home, you feel the same way. All right, I'm gonna crack this yolk so I can get some of that deliciousness mixed in. Cut one of these potatoes. We're gonna play some Tetris on our fork here. <laughs> Got a big spoon, here we go. All right. Making a mess too, it's okay. I can't talk because there's so much food, but that was amazing. The egg makes like a really delicious sauce to go over it. I love the flavor of the salsa in it. And I've never, before this recipe, I've never breaded a beef patty. And I can tell you that I'm gonna keep doing that because it is so good. This recipe, if you want to have the full thing written out, it's gonna be found on my website at www.foreignfork.com slash silponcho. And also next week, we're gonna have another Bolivian recipe with cocadas, so don't forget to check that out either. Thank you. So if you all are really liking these videos and you wanna see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.